Welcome back, everybody. Had a uh, remarkable experience this, this morning with uh, with the uh, AquaClear filtration. This is going to be a review on the AquaClear 50, 20, or 40. Doesn't matter. They're all the same, right? Probably the best hang on hang on back filter that I've ever had, to be honest. Uh, power. What happened was the power went out last right out last night, right? And I. Uh, Woke up, woke up this morning and it wasn't working. Like I could still hear, it. I could still hear the motor going and stuff, right, buzzing. So uh, I could still hear the motor and stuff, just buzzing and stuff. And so I had to, I had to move. Uh, so I took quickly. I took the, shut the, unplugged the field, unplugged the hang on back. Quickly unplugged it and stuff. And, uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Quickly unplugged it and I took it apart because the motor was super hot, right? So I went to check it out and uh, let it sit for 10 minutes for it to cool off and clean, cleaned it out. It was really gross. It needed to be cleaned anyway. I replaced the uh, carbon on it and stuff and put it back in and filled it with water. And guess what? Cause I was scared, I was scared it was wasn't gonna work anymore, right? It's like, oh crap. Cause I thought the motor burnt it, burnt out, but it it didn't at all. It's it fired right up, no problem. Filled it with water again, and wow, amazing, amazing filter, amazing, amazing uh, hang on back filter, Chad. I can't recommend it enough. I would give it a nine and a half out of ten. <clears throat> That's what I would give that. And uh, as you can see, these uh, see these antlers, these they're about to give birth, especially her right there. I don't have a breeder, but unfortunately, I don't have a breeder box for them, because I want to put or to put them in a breeder box. I can't find them anywhere, not even online. They're sold out even online. So I'm on the waiting list, right? So I'll be waiting there for a while. I think I've been on the waiting list probably for four months. <laughs> It's hard to get anything right now, right? Hard to get anything. What a breeder box is. The, the kind I want to get is called a Zis ZNX2. What it is is uh, you can hook up an air, you can hook an air pump hose to it, so it provide aeration to the water, right? Oxygen to the water and stuff. And it's got a grates on the bottom, so when the when the when the female guppy or liber or whatever you have in there gives birth. The fry will go to the very bottom and they'll be safe so they can't be eaten, right? So that's, that's awesome about that. So so I love to I love to get one of those, but that's gonna have to wait for a while. But like I said, I'm on the waiting list. As you can see, I got uh, I got more fry here. See, this is a grow tank. These guys are about a month and a half old. A month and a half old. They'll be these guys will be ready to be sold at the end of uh, July. They'll be up for sale on the website, which I'll have, which I plan on having set up very soon. I got about well, a lot of males. These guys are still getting their colors, but they're on with these. I got a whole bunch of them downstairs that are ready to go. They don't want them breeding. Already got forty something antlers. I don't want any more. <laughs> don't have the space for them all, right? So. But yeah, right here we got two fry in there, right? We, uh, my wife saw two fry in that 20 gallon downstairs. Apparently one of the, uh, they gave birth to two fry. We only able to save two, so that's what's in that uh, net, breeder net there. And some of the fish I plan on breeding or uh, specializing in are going to be, uh, see these guys, these guys are pandas, panda quarries. These guys are about two months old now. Right over there, I don't know if you can see them. They're these right there. See that? See the albino cori corridor there in the back? So he's he'll be ready to go too. Got those and in the corner there there's some stir buys there, right? There were we've had those we bought those in the March, so made one of the major things to plan on uh, specializing would be cori corridor catfish. 
end of August, I want to get some Corridor Dooleys if I can find them. They're another hard Corridor, corridor to find. I'd also like to get some Venezuelan Blacks. Those are really nice looking Corridors also. And I plan on uh, probably end of September, I want to order some uh, or a strain of uh, su super fancy guppies from uh, Thailand. I've got some really, I'm from Mako Bid, they've got some really nice strains on there I want to get. And then I get this. I found a I found a breeder for uh, Starlight Plecos. Extremely, extremely rare. He's willing to sell them, so I'm planning on getting those next month. In the in the next month, I'm just gonna get just gotta get the forty gallon all set up and ready to go for them. So again, plan on getting six of those, and then I also want to order some uh, Starlight. I also want to order some uh, Millennium Rainbow Fish, so I'll be breeding those too. Six of them, probably three, not six. A breeding trail, male and male and two females, right? So those are beautiful fish. And then uh, the other another uh, pleco up. Remember, I said I was planning on doing four kinds of plecos. So well, I changed my mind. I think I'm just going to do two kinds, just the starlights and the uh, super red long fins. But I probably won't get those till next year because they're super expensive. They're about thirty-five dollars. Thirty-five dollars a fish. Of course, the, the starlights are the starlights are thirty bucks, but they're they're hard to get. They're extremely hard to get. And uh, another fish I plan on breeding is uh, some more rainbow fish. Not sure what kind yet. I was going to do Bozamani, but Bozamani are so common around here, unfortunately. I like to do fish that other people don't have, like you don't see too often. And uh, we want to get some uh, angel fish right here and start breeding angel fish in this tank here. That's 35. So a lot of the, a lot of the occupants in this tank will be going, will be, uh, going to other tanks. Especially the quarries. Uh, quarries will interbreed if you keep them in different species and you don't want that. You want the color true, right? So these guys get mature so fast, so I gotta separate them, right? So I'll be putting the quarries, the the panda quarries will be going downstairs next weekend in a in a twenty gallon, in the in one of the uh, in their grow out tanks. So I also use it to breathe them in there too. Got a, I got jab and mouse for them to lay their eggs in, right? So and right here I got some. Uh, Oh man, brain, my brain freeze. Sorry, chat. I can't think right now. Super tired from work. Uh, what are they called? Come on. Tetra, some kind of Tetra. Can't think. Rummy nose Tetras. There you go. They're really, really nice looking. Look at that. It's hard to see the red on his face, so they're beautiful. I want to get four more. I plan on breeding those two. Apparently they're hard to get now too. They're they're common fish, but they're hard to get because all the shortages and everything that's going on, right? So especially shipping and stuff. And look at this, yo-yo loaches hunting down snails. The snail population's gone down quite a bit. Look at that up there. And you probably can't see them because of the uh, reflection on the from the sun. But a lot of the snails are hiding at the top there. I I boot I boot them back to the bottom so. So look at him, look at him down there, he's digging the gravel for the babies and stuff. Not too many snails left, thank God. Went, finally winning the war on that. I used to keep fish about 20 years ago, but I lost the passion to keep them. I, I don't know, it just happens, right? So I had a lot of fish tanks. I had two 15 gallons, three 10 gallons. 355 gallons and I had four or five gallons so I was a just a fish and I, I just I don't know it just lost the passion that happens to a lot of people right so this time no I miss fish keeping and I love it I don't say eventually I want to do for a full-time business I can't once a Kate takes off it's going to take time right because a lot of these fish will take time to mature because uh I also care about my fish. I don't want to 
breed the hell. I don't want to breed the hell out of them either, right? So I don't care about my animals and stuff that we have. So, so let's look at all that Java fern there. That's uh, only bought two of them, right? In a pack, and look look at all the offspring it has, right? They're called runners. They they hang on the leaves of the uh, Java fern. You just pluck them off and you plant them in the gravel. But, uh, this gravel here. I don't recommend it. It's called the Snowy River. It's called Carib Sea Snowy River. I don't recommend it because uh, it's hard to it's hard to uh, to grow plants in it because it's, it's there's nowhere to anchor it, right? So, but especially the Nubius. See that Nubius is out. The root the roots are hanging out again. Those uh, the yo-yo loaches like to dig everything up all the time. So. But yeah, these guys will be going, be getting, uh, or at least one species of Corys will be getting separated. <clears throat> so in the 40 gallon, I'll be setting up at the end of August. I'm going to have uh, six Starlight Plecos in there to breed them. I'm going to have uh, Mullium Rainbow Fish, right? And I'm going to have Corydora Dulies in there as well. So, and I'm going to have uh, Live Bear in there also. Probably have a strain of Guppies in there, so there you go. So just with a 40 gallon, you can breed a lot more, right? More room. So, but anyway, um, you guys take care and have yourselves a good night. And uh, oh, I'm gonna be doing um, a video series on uh, Zombie Army trilogy, right? And then after that, I'll be doing Zombie Army Four. That's where Hitler uh, is losing. What the story is about is just real quick prologue to it. Hitler's losing the war in World War Two, right? So he. He's he's desperate, so he's looking other ways to win win a war. So he finds an ancient artifact that he can uh, summon the undead, right? Undead soldiers and stuff. So there you go, and he has his own undead army and stuff. So the goal is to stop him and stuff. So so obviously with the trilogy, they don't. But anyway, um, that's a story for that. So I'll, I'll plan on streaming that. So I'll be doing a series on that probably in two or three weeks. Slowly putting out videos for that. So, but anyway, have yourselves a good night. And if you like what you see, please subscribe and also leave a like. Would really appreciate that. And have yourselves a good night. And uh, bye bye.